Bella, the Librarian Owl. Chapter 1 The Disappearance In the heart of the forest, where the trees whispered secrets and the moon cast its gentle glow, Bella's secret library stood hidden from prying eyes. Nestled within the hollow of a towering oak tree, the library was a haven of knowledge guarded by Bella, the most colorful and wise owl in the woodland. One quiet evening, as Bella perched amidst her beloved books, she noticed something amiss. A gap on the shelf where the enchanted tome once rested caught her keen gaze. Her heart skipped a beat as she realized that the magical book had vanished without a trace. The significance of the disappearance weighed heavily upon Bella's feathers, for the book held secrets that could shape the very fabric of their forest home. With a determined gleam in her eyes, Bella knew that she must act swiftly. She spread her vibrant wings and took flight into the night, her mind racing with thoughts of the missing book and the mysteries it contained. As she soared through the moonlit sky, Bella's keen senses scanned the forest below, searching for any sign of the vanished tome. Arriving at the scene of the disappearance, Bella meticulously examined the surroundings, searching for clues amidst the rustling leaves and tangled undergrowth. The air was thick with anticipation as she pieced together fragments of evidence, each clue leading her closer to unraveling the enigma of the missing book. With each passing moment, Bella's determination grew stronger. She knew that the fate of the forest rested in her talons, and she would stop at nothing to uncover the truth behind the disappearance of the magical tome. And so, with the moon as her guide and the stars as her witness, Bella embarked on her most perilous quest yet, determined to restore balance to the woodland realm. Chapter 2 Nighttime Exploration under the cloak of darkness, Bella spread her magnificent wings and took flight, her vibrant feathers catching the moonlight as she soared through the silent forest. Guided by her intuition and the wisdom of the night, she navigated the labyrinth of trees with grace and precision, her heart filled with determination to uncover the secrets hidden within the shadows. As Bella glided effortlessly through the moonlit canopy, she listened intently to the whispers of the wind and the rustling of leaves, searching for any clue that might lead her to the missing book. Each rustle and murmur held the promise of discovery, fueling her resolve to solve the mystery that had befallen her beloved library. Her keen eyes scanned the forest floor below seeking out any sign of disturbance or anomaly amidst the darkness. Through the dense undergrowth and tangled roots, she spotted subtle traces, a broken twig here, a faint footprint there, that hinted at the passage of an unknown intruder. Following the trail of clues, Bella ventured deeper into the heart of the forest, her senses heightened and her instincts sharp. The night air was alive with the sounds of the woodland creatures, their nocturnal activities painting a vivid tapestry of life amidst the darkness. Bella was getting closer to the truth with every beat of her wings, her resolve unyielding in the face of doubt. She was certain that the answers she was looking for were hidden somewhere in the forest's depths and she was determined to find those secrets by digging through the shadows. Bella continued into the night, her thirst for knowledge propelling her further, the moon serving as her guide and the stars as her companions. Chapter 3 
decoding clues. As Bella delved deeper into the heart of the forest, she encountered a series of cryptic clues left behind by the woodland creatures. Each clue, like a piece of a puzzle, teased her with its enigmatic message, challenging her intellect and resolve. The first clue came in the form of an intricate web spun by a diligent spider. Bella examined the delicate strands, noticing patterns and symbols woven into the silken threads. With a keen eye and steady talons, she deciphered the hidden message, a riddle that hinted at the location of the missing book. The second clue was whispered to her by the rustling leaves of an ancient oak tree. As Bella listened intently, she heard the soft murmurs of the forest, guiding her towards a hidden grove where the secrets of the woodland awaited discovery. With each clue deciphered, Bella's excitement grew, her determination unyielding in the face of adversity. She followed the trail of breadcrumbs laid out before her, trusting in her instincts and the guidance of the forest spirits to lead her ever closer to the truth. Along the way, Bella encountered fellow creatures of the forest, each offering their own unique insights and assistance. From wise old squirrels to mischievous raccoons, their knowledge and wisdom proved invaluable as Bella pieced together the puzzle of the missing book. Bella eventually discovered the final hint, a secret inscription etched into the bark of a gnarled tree, as the moon approached its peak and the woodland began to whisper its secrets. She let out a triumphant whoop when she saw that the last jigsaw piece had come together to reveal the whereabouts of the elusive tome. With newfound determination, Bella spread her wings and soared towards her destination, eager to uncover the secrets hidden within the pages of the missing book. And as she flew through the moonlit forest, her heart filled with anticipation, knowing that the answers she sought were finally within her grasp. Chapter 4 The Power of Stories as Bella ventured deeper into the heart of the forest, guided by the clues she had uncovered, she stumbled upon a hidden grove bathed in the soft glow of moonlight. Nestled within the tranquil glade was a majestic tree, its gnarled branches reaching towards the sky like outstretched arms. With a sense of reverence, Bella approached the ancient tree sensing that she had finally reached the end of her journey. As she drew closer, she noticed a shimmering light emanating from a hollow in the trunk, beckoning her forward. With a flutter of her wings, Bella entered the hollow and gasped in awe at what lay before her, a magnificent library, its shelves lined with books of every shape and size. It was a place of wonder and magic, a sanctuary of knowledge hidden deep within the heart of the forest. But amidst the books, Bella spotted a familiar tome, the missing book that had disappeared from her own library. With trembling talons, she reached out and retrieved the precious volume, feeling a surge of excitement and anticipation coursing through her veins. As Bella flipped through the pages of the book, she felt a strange energy pulsing beneath her feathers, as if the stories contained within were alive with power and possibility. She realized that this was no ordinary book, it was a gateway to other worlds, a portal to realms beyond imagination. With a sense of reverence, Bella began to read, losing herself in the magical tales and enchanting adventures that filled the pages. Each story was a revelation, 
a testament to the power of storytelling to inspire, to uplift, and to unite communities. And as Bella read on, she realized that the true magic of the book lay not in its pages, but in the stories it contained and the power they held to bring joy and wonder to all who encountered them. With a grateful heart and a renewed sense of purpose, Bella returned to her own library, eager to share the wisdom she had gained with all who sought knowledge and adventure in the forest. Let your dreams be touched by the Chronicles of Enchantment, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.